Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak, and uh, what you're looking at is actually a anoxifiltration course 311 that people can take. And they can take it online. I think the cost of the course is uh, $50. And uh, over there on the left corner, bottom corner, is uh, the beta container that I did. I did a video on it and it seems to be doing well. Uh, it does have your little bit of algae growth growing on it, uh, which is normal, brand new uh, setup. It is bound to have some algae grown on it, especially with a light that has the full spectrum of blue and red. But anyway, uh, as you can see, it's doing quite well. There's one male beta and two females in there. They're, those are koi that is, I got them at uh, PetSmart. I think the females were like $12 a piece. The male was $20, a little over $20 for the male. The females were cheap, uh, cheaper. They, uh, they seem to be getting along. Not a lot of chasing. At first, he chased them around some, but now um, he's not bothering with them too much. Anyhow, anyhow uh, before I get into this video, I just want to show you the container is doing quite well. Uh, fish are doing healthy, well, a uh, little bit of algae. Changing the water is a piece of cake. All you do is turn, put a bucket underneath there or a gallon jug or a five-gallon bucket or whatever and just open up the spigot. It uh, takes the water from the very bottom of the container, brings it through the substrate, and then dumps it out. It takes literally minutes to empty and refill it. It's it's a very easy piece of cake. There, there is, if you want to move, which I've had to move this because I had to level it better and stuff like that, all you do is empty it. You can pick it up, move it, but you empty it right there on the spot. Um, very convenient and easy project, a fun project, and uh, of all the uh, better containers or paradise fish container, I did have paradise fish, but it was extremely mean and nasty that uh, it just kept chasing and picking on everybody. So I gave it back to the fish store because he was just so mean, he would pick on the bettas, constantly chase them. But um, as far as emptying and cleaning up, this is really nice. So for those people out there who want a better container and easy maintenance of changing the water, you couldn't get any easier than this. Open up the spigot, water pours right through the subject. And then when I checked out this container after I emptied the water out of it, um, I looked at the substrate. There's no blackening of the substrate or anything. The substrate looks real good. So there must be oxygen getting into the substrate because I have uh, opened up the valve. Anyway, let's get into the video. This is a lesson, uh, anoxic filtration 311. And uh, this is conducted by Sid Mitchell. And uh, on the site, it says general notes. Students may work with instructors via email immediately. For detailed course information, click on the course number or file. And this is right off the internet. And this is from the Koi uh, Organization International. The whole site, as far as I can see, has been updated in uh, 2001. So uh, that's... That's good that it's all been updated. The course price is $50, and uh, course availability is now. And learning objective, koi keepers enrolling on this course will become familiar with an overall view of anoxic filtration, the comparison between anoxic and conventional nitrogen cycle filtration, a detailed description of anoxic filtration, including the chemical and biochemical processes in a biosinosis basket, estimating the nitrate reduction by a single basket, 
why anoxy ponds do not reduce the level of dissolved oxygen flowing through them, how anoxy filtration moves both NH3 and NH4. Diagrams showing the various ways anoxy filtration may be implemented, including the original pump-fed design, gravity-fed options, airlift-fed options, building an anoxy filtration system, including two step-by-step -step, uh, document builds, anoxy filtration in freshwater and saltwater aquariums. So this course even teaches you that. Uh, uh, the an essential parameter and uh, remedial action guide that may be uh, laminated for future reference. Uh, let's see, appendages giving more uh, information on how to choose the correct type of cat litter, laterite and recommended substitutes, facultative anaerobic bacteria, information on the different types of clay available. Required materials. All students will need email address and internet access to the COI website. Course description. The uh, model is based on an actual original written by Sid Mitchell, which expands on a Nazi filtration book written by Dr. Kevin Novak, PhD, who developed the system over many years before recommending it to the do-it-yourself system that would overcome the drawbacks of conventional filtration. Anoxy filtration systems are simple to build and relatively inexpensive when compared with the cost of ready-made conventional filter systems. A corrected setup anoxic system gives near zero ammonia and nitrite readings as would be expected from a good biofiltration system and also will give very low or even near zero nitrate readings too. Uh, course type level three, advanced course, course level 11, uh, level three advanced courses. So this is an, an advanced course, uh, learning about it, the instructor, not, but not the instructor, the instructor uh, bio, uh, Sid Mitchell, and customer testimonies it has. Uh, this was one of the anoxic filtration courses. Sid did an amazing job that even the unscientific person can understand. I so enjoyed this manual and thought. I can't understand all the science. I certainly can admire the research and the presentation. He is a great writer. This manual is clear on what you need to do to create this filtration system. So this is something that uh, um, is on the website of Koi Organization International. And uh, this is something that, uh, if you're interested, I will leave a link below. So if you wish to read about it or um, enroll to learn about it, I understand that the reason I'm doing this because I do understand that some people, even though they watch the videos, would like to even have more information on an oxy filtration, no matter what you can say, no matter what's written on the internet, which anyone can write an article, anyone can write anything they want to disc any, you know, to to disenfranchise anything they want. Okay, uh, this is America. We have the First Amendment. We have a right to freedom of speech. So, if someone believes it doesn't work, or they want to diss it in some way, uh, that's perfectly fine. I don't, I don't really care. It's 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 up to them. And it's up to each individual uh, if they want to learn more. This, this, by the way, is not uh, a course from the United States. It is from the United Kingdom. So I just thought I ought to tell you that. Uh, so no matter what you read, what people may say, how they say, well, it doesn't do this, or, or they make all these false claims or anything else, 
Uh, the only thing I can say is these are very uh, jealous people. They may have uh, uh, mental disorders because they do not want to accept what is being taught in universities and colleges on um, wastewater management. That's what they're basically, basically anyone who dis this filtration system doesn't understand wastewater management, management, what is being taught, why it's being taught that way, and how wastewater management works, and how the full nitrogen cycle is presented to these uh, wastewater management companies. Because from my understanding, when the water comes in, it cannot leave the facility dirtier or any pollutant higher than the level that they're dumping the water into. So if they're dumping the water into, let's say, a lake or whatever, they cannot be polluting that water. It has to be cleaner than what they are putting the water into through wastewater facilities. So I thought I would do a quick one. Like I said, the link will be uh, below for the Koi Organization International course. It's a Noxic Filtration 311 course. There, uh, you can go on there, and if you wish to take the course, it is a uh, $50 fee, but apparently it does help people understand. And if you think about it, um, where can you go, really, unless you're going to buy a book? Books are expensive today. If you just want to find out something about uh, normal aquariums and stuff to today where can you go actually to take a course on setting up aquariums except uh on the internet on youtube you know and where we see people constantly setting up aquariums doing the same thing over and over again or if you want to go with some of these uh other youtube video uh, stations out there that tell you to do something, but they know they don't. They don't back it up with any scientific information or anything. They just tell you to do it, and this is the way it works. But they don't uh, carry it on any further than that. And anytime I've always asked them, okay, where is the scientific information of what you were saying? Where is it at universities and colleges that they have uh, that they're teaching it? that they're researching, no, no, all you get is crickets, because there is none, because it's not what we use for, to facilitate cleaning our um, wastewater systems, it is not something we use, okay, it's just something a hobbyist use in aquariums, but it's not something that we use in natural systems, it's not something we use in wastewater management systems. It's just something the hobbyist uses. Like when I did the video on the Florida uh, Aquarium, okay, in Tampa, how he said they have to three, four times a week constantly stir up the substrate because they don't have any like sea apples or, or sea cucumbers that could go and keep the substrate open. And if they don't do that, then they're going to start building up ammonia problems and cause all kinds of problems in the aquarium. So they have to keep stirring up the substrate until they can get uh, the fauna and live animals to put back into the aquarium to keep the substrate open. Because you always have people saying, well, you can always use uh, Malaysian live bearing snails that like to dig in the, in the substrate. Well, that's all fine and good. If you can find them, uh, if they live, uh, there's a lot of ifs there. When you can just make a filtration system that will um, withhold or sustain the time of performing for you, then depending on plants or animal life, which bacteria never die, it dies but it reproduces on a constant basis. It never dies like an animal will die or a plant will finally give up and die. 
It, it doesn't do that. Bacteria just keeps going and going. If there's a food source, then the bacteria will just keep multiplying. The more food, the more it multiplies. So your bacteria will depend on the food source, the oxygen source, or the lack of oxygen source in the case of an anoxic filtration system, and how it will multiply depending on the food source that is available to it. Anyhow, I just thought I'd do this short video to let you know it's something that's out there to the public. It's a, uh, uh, a learning lesson for those of you who may go a little, want to go a little bit further, whether you own a pond or an aquarium. Just like universities are teaching about wastewater management and anoxic filtration. Okay, that's right at your universities and colleges. This is something you can go to online. You don't have to pay the, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars a semester hour uh, to take a course when you can just for fifty dollars you can go ahead and take this. Anyhow, I just thought I'd do this quick video, do a little update on the uh, beta aquarium that I made. Um, very easy, change water. It was a good project, fun, fish are doing fine. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you very much for watching and happy fish keeping. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.